Well, this week uh, started off with the... Uh... This week, um, me and my father went to Net25 to shoot a Father's Day special uh, for this TV show called Moments. And I was very nervous at first, but I'm, I was I'm really happy that my father came with me because he gave me some nuggets of advice and showed me the ropes of how not to be nervous. And I, I don't know if I could have done it without him. Earlier in the week, I was in Ilocos with my mother and my dad, and it was it was great to be home. Minus the rain, the beach was still absolutely amazing, and it was really good to see the, the Ilocanos again. Well, walking along the beach is always great because uh, I remember as a child, me and my brothers used to help the local fishermen who used to live in the barangay next to us. And we'd help them catch their fish every day. And like, we'll usually get an eel or, uh, or some sort of fish and that's yung breakfast na amin. And we used to have this, also this rock wall that me and my little brother used to call the Great Wall of Suba. And we used to climb it. And we used to call that yung old boys club na amin. Uh, super, that was another super, super good time back as a, back as a child living in Ilocos. Hey Pops, I remember living here, and then me, Sam, and Vinny were around about five years old. And you sat us down and showed us how blessed we were. And taught us that, wasn't, that the fact that we were blessed wasn't important enough, but the fact is we had to share our blessings with, with everyone else who was less fortunate with us. Uh, on like a monthly basis, we used to go to the village next door and we used to go to Johnny D, Pizza Hut, all of this food, the salt makers and the fishermen. And up to this day, I still remember them and I still love them to this day. We'd go to the barangays uh, next to us and we'd bring them food, we'd bring them anything that they needed from us, basically. And not because, uh, not because like, we, they, we, they felt that they needed help. It was more because we genuinely wanted to improve their lives. It's teachings like that that really made me think that I have to really know that I have to be fine. And I couldn't, I couldn't thank you enough because up until this day, those are one of the things that you taught me that I still try and do in my everyday life. And it wasn't more so about helping the less fortunate, but making other people's lives better which is one of the main lessons that I've learned from my father. I mean, Ilocos is our home and it's always great, but we tend to go, uh, we, we like to travel a lot. Like for this one time, uh, we went to Sentosa and of course my dad has his way of making things really fun. When we were kids, he brought us to a trip here and we were so happy and we were all together and we always, it always made us laugh and stuff and it always reminds me that my dad always goes out of his way to make us laugh and, you know, just to make us happy. So what if the, whenever I think of this, I always think of my dad, the lion, the strong man, you know, the guy who, who teaches you to be, to be strong against the world and to persevere and keep pushing no matter how hard it gets. Although we like to travel a lot, uh, we, we'd spend a lot of time in, in other countries, just how Sandro, uh, Sandro, me and Vinny all went to school abroad, and Sandro is still working there now. See, I think the place that reminds me of you the most, Dad, is uh, during our time in Ilocos, and Ilocos is a place um, it's before I sort of went to school here in the UK and it's, it's when you and I spent the most time together. Um, and obviously there are times that I miss and it's, it's really uh, the time in which, you know, you taught me the most and I, I learned the most from you, although I'm still learning from you. When I started in school, you know, someone tried to make the differentiation that, you know, you can be smart 
or you can work hard. And, and you know, you have people that are smart or you have people that are work hard, that work hard rather. And um, when, I, when I spoke to my dad about that, he said, well, no, that's, that's definitely not the case. And when I asked him why, um, he said, well, isn't, isn't working hard the smart thing to do? Uh, and you know, that, that stuck with me and then it, it was just, um, that's, that's really the sort of one of the big lessons, you know, working hard in life is, is in fact the smart thing to do. And if you work hard, you are smart. And for those of you that don't know, my dad is quite the cook. He likes to be in the kitchen quite often and uh, I think it sort of rubbed off on me a little bit, uh, especially here living in London and, and having to, to do all of that myself. But um, yeah, his, his love of food, I think, has, has not only stuck uh, with me, but it's, it's stuck with my family and my brothers. Um, I, I can sort of be the first one to tell you that, you know, before my mom met my dad, uh, she, she, she wasn't as much into food as she is now. Final lesson that he taught me was, you know, when, when, when things aren't going your way, which I suppose is apt, um, that, you know, to, to, to persevere and then really sort of uh, to stick to it and, and that, you know, one, one day, the day will come where, where things will finally go your way um, and it'll be as a result of your hard work, uh, your perseverance and your patience. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you and I hope for the best. I guess my uh, first Father's Day wish for my dad would obviously be that the protest progresses uh, very well and more swiftly at that. And that I, I just essentially hope he, he has the day that he deserves for being the father that he is, for having taught the lessons that he's taught us. And thank you very much for, for teaching us these lessons and I, 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 I miss you, Pop. And I can't wait to see you and be able to spend lots more time with you and when I eventually move back home. But I do miss you here in London and uh, hope I see you soon. I love you and happy Father's Day. Overall, looking at my life, I couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful and I couldn't be more blessed to have a father, a mother and a family that I do because they are the kindest, most intelligent and most endearing people I or anyone else could ever meet. Uh, and for you, Dad, I, I will do anything and thank you for everything that you have done for me, for everything that you have taught me, um, for everything that you have shown me in the past, and there is no way that I could ever pay you back. I love you, Dad, and I hope you have an amazing Father's Day, because you deserve it.